name is Stefano Drijsma. I'm from the Netherlands, but I'm affiliated as a research fellow at the University of Malaya in Kuala Lumpur, the Institute of Ocean and Earth Science, Sciences, where I study evolution and diversity of seaweeds. I try to study the diversity of the seaweeds here, at the same time also make collections for the, for the reference at, for the herbarium in Kuala Lumpur that can be used for uh, education of students and also for research. An alga is a collective name for a very diverse group of organisms that use sunlight as energy source, excluding the land plants. They can be unicellular, we usually call them microalgae or phytoplankton. They can be multicellular or macroalgae, we call them seaweeds. I developed an interest in algae more or less by coincidence. Some students have to work on algae, but nobody wants to. But you see, once they start knowing about algae, people become enthusiastic. Same was with me. The more you know about something, the more interesting it becomes. Algae are important because they're at the base of the food chain, plus they produce oxygen. Probably every second breath you take, the oxygen comes from an alga. The fish that eat feeds on algae, in order to produce one kilo of body mass, it would need to eat about 10 kilo of algae. In order for a fish eating fish, a pesciforous fish like a tuna, to gain one kilo of body mass, it would need to eat 10 kilo of fish, which refers to 100 kilo indirectly of algae. I, there are some I like more than others. <laughs>